Recently, a fellow duelist asked a question. Why do I duel? And what keeps me motivated to continue playing Duel Links? And for that question, I have a simple and easy answer. I duel for my own satisfaction to prove to myself that belief in my cards and belief in my own strength is enough to win. I duel to prove to the people that no matter what deck you play, if you put your heart into the cards, you can claim victory. And finally, I duel to put everything on the line in just one turn to never miss. This is my passion. This is my rogue style. This is my reason for dueling. What is yours? Duelist, the time has come yet again. KC Cup Stage 2 is among us, and there is still time for you to claim victory. Grab hold of the deck list to never miss. Now, because I cleared King of Games in the 38th season, I'm already accepted to stage two. But like any good duelist, I claimed the free gems and leveled up to max. As I accept my entry, I can feel the cancer spewing forth, but there's no time to waver. It's time to battle. In this new meta, the six samurais were declared king, but the hazy monsters will beg to differ. Though they have powerful synchro summons, the hazies have them as well. Though they have swarming abilities, the hazy monsters can swarm better. But since the hazy monsters cannot be targeted, the entire deck is shut down. So the hazy monsters will take this crown and claim their place at the top and fight against their real rivals using the power of the hazy flame magician to bait out floodgates, to destroy back roads, to destroy monsters and clear the field for the sacred number of three, Hazy Bees. All right, here I go for my first 10K. Got to get in there. Pretty good record going on here until Konami just sent three people just to tilt me for some random reason. But everybody else has been playing Six Sam, so let's keep the tilt going. Send these Six Sam boys to the shadows with my hazy beast. Okay, here is an ancient gear deck. Let's see if the fate smile upon us for going first. All right, we're gonna have to see boys. All right, ancient gears, I'm just gonna pass turn. Because an ancient gear deck, if he has game um, on his first turn, he has a way to destroy his little spell card and do his whole thing, then he's got game. But if he doesn't, then I got game. So that's kind of how this one's going. But typically with an ancient gear deck, I found that if they don't have game turn one, I always have game second turn. So that's been pretty much the standard. We'll see if he has game or not. Doesn't look like it. Looks like he's not going for game. Looks like he's just gonna have to play it out completely. Yeah, he's gonna have to just attack me for two Gs and pass turn. And if that's the case, we got it. Cause you already know what that is, some crap. It's never anything. Easy, 
money. Even money. A little delay. Probably Kanadia or something. Probably Kanadia. Or Floodgate. It's flood date. And you got me. Nope, it's Kanadia. So GG. Bop. Manicore. Sphinx. Nevis. Mm -hmm. Special summon. Bring back my boy. Let's get those gems. 30. And game done. Easy. Easy. And you get a nice. Easy. First 10k cleared, boys. 10k cleared. I'll be back when it's time for 20 of those Ks. 10k's cleared. I'm at a 70% win rate because I end up taking some random fucking L's from some random fucking decks. This is so infuriating, but you know, somebody someone has to be able to send you give you an L. But the majority of my matchups are six Sam's, so it is what it is. I catch y'all at my 20k mark. Uh, My win streak, huh? Konami's got to send an agent of destruction to tilt an agent of destruction. You son of a bitch. Ain't that about a bitch, man? Damn. You say you're fine. Can't see right through you're holding your secrets for way too long. This can't keep going on with every lie. They keep on hurting you, getting away with everything they do. This can't keep going on. Oh, we're gonna find them, and I'm gonna fight for you. They better start hiding. We'll be running with the lions, lions.
Here we go, boys. Coco's napping, and we're going for 20k right now. I couldn't set up. I couldn't get it as adjusted as I normally would. Been getting tilted, struggling to get to this 20k opportunity. But we here, boys. We here. It's just been some random odd hands here and there. Not brick hands. Just odd hands against odd opponents. Just insanity. This meta is crazy. But, you know, it's what we asked for. We want that diversity, right? So let's start it. Let's start this off right by seeing what's in the boy's hand. Once we discover what's in his hand, we can get in there for game. So once we see what's in his hand, we'll know what kind of deck this is. And then we'll know if we need two or three monsters for game. Let's see. Boy, what do you got? Give it up. UAs. UAs. <laughs> he did. <laughs> UAs in, in 6 Sam meta? You crazy, bro. This, this is the madman right here. UAs in 6 Sam meta? Absolute madman. I mean, it's a, it's, they got some nice cards, but Six Sam's got that trap card that blow cards back, and they got a spell trap negate. So, what you doing? Like that just don't make no no sense at all. I'm going right the fuck in there, all three, because he's got fucking UA Stadium and Telezo and Canadia. So I'm going in for game. Give me those jammies. That's right. Give me those jammies. 20k boys, we're going up. Press his like button. <laughs> Let's do this. 20, 25, well 20, 20k. We going up boys, we up right now. 20k, five games in a row. Took some random L's just Unfortunate, unfortunate. But we in there, boys. Let's keep climbing. Tough situation, a song only had a lighter, lighter. Toss and I turn with ideas that will make things burn. You came across my intention to rule the world. When we're up against, we just gotta speak louder. Only 
right, boys. Here I go for 30K. Let's do this shit. Let's go. Here I go for 30K. 30K with the hazy breeze. It's the first time I ever hit 30K with the hazies. It's the first time I think I've ever hit around 30K, I think. I think so. Fuck! We will again. Just gotta go second. Never miss. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's get this Weevil this L he deserves. Oh, fuck. This thing over here. God. See, it's the funny thing with these Weevils. It's like, it's no telling what it is you're playing against. That's the sad thing about these weevils. You don't know what it is. It could literally be anything. Triple back row. And then his turn. What is this? I kind of don't want to put Cyber Soldier on the field. That's like a, a very risky card to play. Because if it's a Tilt Weevil uh, or a Lava Golem Weevil, you know, they're more than Amazon. That's so there's plenty. Okay, it's fine. At least it's not Amazon's Onslaught, to be fair. Amazon's onslaught, I don't want to deal with that. It's so irritating in this meta right now. Climbing all the way up to 30k. It's like no reason to it's like there's every reason to play Jinzo, but also no reason to play Jinzo. Because people just aren't playing that shit. Like like only time you come up against back row is when the character is weak. That's the only time you come up against back row. Flat out. Bloodgate, sure. Sunnet Canadia, sure. I might be able to get him. I'm gonna flip some and see if I get a response on my flip. To try to figure out what his back row is. Something that he can play on chain or something that he can with, so hmm. if yeah I'm gonna just kill it I'm not gonna overextend I'm just gonna keep chipping away at him until I get a hazy. So I just need to maintain control until I can get around all his floodgates and get to a hazy. I just need, yeah, and I'm glad I saved my tribute monster. I might need to get rid of this golden. Okay, right, cool. Ooh, all right, this is actually perfect. I can wait. Got something over there. Thing is, if he doesn't have a way to stop, you know, if, if he like flips like Floodgate or Kanadia and puts one of these guys face now, he still can't take four G's to the face. So, unless the second card something to stop an attack, so he might just be totally screwed. But we'll see what happens. Yeah, he's got Kanadia. Okay, what he's gonna put down? He's gonna put down Lava Gold? No, he's gonna put that down. All right. So his next card has to be a trap, and the trap has to be able to, uh... Oh, wow. He had a Kanadia and a fucking Floodgate, and he played both. I just need to draw a Hazy Monster. I can't be that unlucky. I just have to draw a Hazy Monster, that's all. All I gotta do is draw a Hazy Monster. That's it. That's all I need to do. I can't be that unlucky. 
I got 3,000 life points. All I need is a hazy monster for a game. That's all I need. Come on, Weevil. Or give me that second lava golem in that turn. Wow. That second lava golem. Mm hmm. In turn. Bruh. Wow. Just give me, just give me a hazy beast. Let's go. Let's go. I command the fire so that I never miss. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. You about to take all this pain, Weevil. This is what you deserve. Now my lava golems. Yes. Never miss. Let's go. Let's go. Crush that motherfucking nice button. God damn. Let's go. Came in right on time. Played it exactly how it needs to be played. 30,000. Yeah. 30,000 with hazies only. Never touch the other meta. Never. 30K with only hazies. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Take that, man. Fuck. 645 I don't know if that's before or after. I think that was beforehand I don't think that was much hundred I mean not much hundred I said much hundred I think that was much before I think that was the last rating I think so I think it was like 630 so I think it'll update 30 minutes hell yeah 30k with hazies only fuck fuck six samurais fuck weeble <laughs> Damn, man. All right. Damn. Whew. So I forgot to do this. Just doing a quick run back. The highest um, win streak I ever got in this game or in the KC Cup was eight wins in a row. Um, I kept getting beat by random, random decks. Um, or random combos, but as you can see, as this run up to 30k points, I won nine out of 10 games. So, you know, I really hate that win streak counter thing. It's like, oh, you only got uh, <laughs> you only got so many games, you know, blah blah blah. But I mean, I sat down and played 10 fucking games and won nine out of 10. And then let's say I was just playing, I don't know, just randomly. And I won, you know, these four games took an L. Then you win these five games after that. And then you just take an L. It'll be like, oh man, the most you ever won the row is five. And then, you know, that, that just really sucks. Because, you know, this counter is for 10. And, you know, that's kind of how I feel about it. I'm disgusted. But I'm happy to sit right here at 30K. So I think, I mean, I got a bunch of other stuff I need to do today and also cut this video together. I, I made, I got so much footage, um, but I think I'm just gonna stop right here because when I look up at, uh, at these global rankings, it's pretty funny. Um, look at these global, well, these, this is the United States rankings, the US rankings. It's saying, uh, you know, top 500, I guess is somewhere around you know 16k dp I'm not sure what his win rate is and then this is saying this is uh 25k dp top 100 and then right now it's saying i'm at 645 but uh i'm waiting for the official tally to go through so when it goes through it comes through i guess at uh i don't know i don't know what time it goes through i think it's like every uh, hour every hour yeah, every hour at the half point. When that goes through, I'll check it and then see where I'm at. The crazy thing is, like, when I see these in, like, 90K, 87K, 86K, this is just bananas numbers. It, like, these people, like, play forever and it's smashing. It's just, that's absolutely in insane. It's 80K, 90K, it's insane. I, it's insane. Because I know, I mean... It's just insane. I, I just don't have any words for that. That's just absolutely insane. 80 to 90 K DP. 
in one run. That's bananas. Never miss.